Thank you for joining me for another episode of Sam's Tech Stuff. Today, we're taking a look at the Montec Air 210 cooler. This is a single tower air cooler named for the internal TDP writing assigned by Montec. I reached out to Montec to send this over for review, since on paper, this seemed like a pretty competitive CPU cooler. I'll be taking a look at what's included, the build quality, and the cooling performance tested with my Ryzen 5600X CPU. The Air Cooler 210 features six heat pipes with a wide fin stack to achieve optimal cooling performance. The cooler, combined with the fan, measures in at 152.7 millimeters tall, 130 millimeters wide, and a combined depth of 123.5 millimeters. As for the included fan, it's an ARGB model that at the maximum RPM can push 73 CFM at a noise level of about 29.3 dBA. This heatsink, like some others on the market, touts enhanced memory compatibility. The entire fin stack and the fan are shifted towards the rear of the case by the angle of the heat pipes. This shift is more than enough to allow you to comfortably fit four tall memory modules in your motherboard, which is a pretty nice feature. The mounting system with this cooler was very easy to set up on the AM4 socket. Using the stock retention plate, you'll place each of your spacers down and then screw the arms into the back plate. The heatsink will attach at one point on each side of the bracket arms. As for the RGB goodness, the fan utilizes either the three pin five volt header on your motherboard or can alternatively be configured with the included manual RGB switch. Not every motherboard will have a 5 volt 3 pin header, so controlling and syncing your RGB with an external switch is a nice feature that was included. As for the fit and the finish, the unit I worked on in this review was well built and I couldn't really spot any defects and I didn't observe any issues when installing. Aesthetically, I really like the stealthy black design. I think it'll look good in a lot of gaming PC build. In terms of the temperature testing, I tested the air cooler 210 on my Ryzen 5600X using ASUS RealBench, Ada64, and Prime95. The ambient temperature during testing was about 72 Fahrenheit or about 22 C. In ASUS RealBench, after a 30 minute run, the average temperature across the cores was 63.3 C. As for Ada64, the CPU stress test, all of the cores averaged after about 30 minutes right around 60.4 C. And lastly, I ran Prime95 with the smallest FFT test. After a 30 minute run, the average core temp was about 61.6 C. I always like to rerun the Prime95 smallest FFT test with my standard overclock on the 5600X. This is 4.7 gigahertz locked with a V core of 1.37 volts. The average core temps definitely shot up a bit here into the low 90s, but that's roughly what I expect. Prime 95 is an extremely unrealistic load on your CPU, and I generally run this just to prove what the cooler is capable of on the CPU. This is generally not something you're going to see during normal usage. I don't even, for example, see temperatures this high when I stream while I game or when I edit videos and export them. Overall, I found the Montec Air Cooler 210 to be an excellent value offering. The temperature testing really showed that under stock and even manual overclock settings, the cooler is easily going to be able to handle a mid-range gaming CPU. Considering the enhanced memory module support and the relatively low sound output even at 100% fan speed, this cooler is going to be a good fit for a lot of gaming PCs. Subjectively speaking, I also really like the look of the Montec Air 210 cooler. I would definitely recommend this cooler if you're on the stock cooler or you're looking to build a new setup and you want an RGB enabled cooler. 